whoever wins this set, man, is is content to continue. But the other is out. Yeah, they're just out. So th this and is, these this are two is for good tournament. players that you would typically see in like top 32, yeah. top 64 ish, 48, making it out of pools. But yeah. right now, going to game one uh, on battlefield. battlefield. All right. And uh, right now, Zex off stage, kind of hanging out with a little more percent than uh, I think he would like to have. But nonetheless, still putting in that work. <laughs> but J Tail's kind of been keeping him off stage. And, okay, approaches with monkey flip, throws out the kick, kind of forcing him to shield there. But Zex got stage control right now. Okay, did he off stage? Not the best place. Ooh. Kind of like a really aggressive down there right there. I'm not a fan of that from J Tails. Okay. <laughs> Zex is going to be want to be careful right now. He's taking on quite a bit of damage. Upper not going to kill. Okay. Good F tilt. Kind of get off me tool from J Tails. And I like his banana usage. Okay. Uh, the up smash was a little bit greedy, but uh, Zex obviously waiting, opting to wait in the shield. Could have shield poke if spaced a little differently, but for another time. Oh, oh, not punished, but okay, good F-Smash. Smash. Smash. Great punish from Zex. Sitting at 154 now. Let's see if he can get, like, some extra credit. Oh, does, I guess he buffered roll onto stage uh, before any ledge snap, ledge trump opportunity. Ah, forward throw, still not going to be it. Yeah, she get 172% right now. Yeah, this is typically percents that oh. you don't see. Uh, he delayed that a little bit. I if think he had, he had to full hop. Yeah, for that. if he if he had gotten if he was quicker with that, he would have gotten the stock. Oh, that's true too. Yeah, but if he was going to delay it that much, he should have at least full hopped. Okay, that forwarder isn't going to do it. Zach sitting <laughs> sitting at 192, man, that's like dangerously high percent. But okay, back her out of shield. shield. We'll take those. All right, banana stuck on the platform right there. Uh, J Tail's looking for an opportunity to get it. Oh. Okay. Seeing a bit of neutral from both players right now. Okay. I like the uh, I like how Zex uses the Sheik snare aggressively. I think it's a better option than fair sometimes. It's got bigger reach. Yeah. It stays out longer. Okay, the up smash. Uh, catching catching Sheik on the platform. Get some good damage. Any damage is good damage. Oh. Okay, yeah, that get up spot dodge, I'm not I'm not a fan of that from Zex because that was kind of a, a little bit like a rushed option right there. Any follow up here? Nope. Gets a monkey flip kick. Okay. Okay. 51% on Zex, so he's sitting with a sizable percent lead. However, Sheik is pretty light. Okay, interesting. I'm seeing a lot of rolls from Zex, or J-Tails, rather. And, uh, okay, good forward here. They'll get him off him. Yeah, I think... Okay, good bouncing fish. I think at the percentages that both players sat at, right at the end, an up throw upper from Diddy. Yeah, that would have been a good option. game. Uh, you know, it's like wait out the air dodge. Right, right, right. Yeah, I see. You see that a lot, especially K9 gets yeah. that a lot. And K9 -Tails gets that up, like more than anyone, I think. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, J Tails. Uh, yeah, I think he needs to fish for like at least more up throw up airs more. Right now, we're seeing game two uh, going to Dreamland. J Tails counter pick. Yeah, first game on Battlefield. Gonna go to another tri plat stage. Yeah, you know, same. Can't go back to Battlefield, but he's like, you know what? I still want Battlefield. So that's cool because we got another one. No right. sweat. <laughs> okay, good stuff from uh, from J Tails. Got him at the ledge, right where he wants him. Oh, interesting down tilt. Beat out the fair from Sheik. Okay, getting some extra damage with his recovery. Cool stuff. Oh. Zex getting caught up in the banana pole. Ooh, I'm not really a fan of why you had to run into that, but you know what? Gets the grab to up throw upper. Good stuff. I'm not the player. Okay, he's putting on pretty good pressure now from under the platforms here. Yeah, I'd like to see some more monkey flip Down command grabs. Grab, up throw upper. Okay.
Okay, barely escaping the up air right there. Like that from JTLs. But he might have to consider changing his uh, recovery options a little bit. Yeah, doesn't quite get the rollback. He had the read on that rollback with the command grab, but he was misspaced. Yeah, and uh, I think Zex needs to kind of punish like the the roll in option that JTLs is kind of picking more often to get behind him and get that down tilt. I think Zex. Okay, good okay. up air. Yeah. Now he's off, Zex is off stage. Makes it back. Not really. That was interesting. Up tilt gonna be the stock at 132 percent. Yeah, good stuff from JTLs keeping it clean. Oh, tripping him up on the uh, on the banana. Bouncing Caught fish. the jump. Not quite it. Wow, okay. That'll be it. Tried to mix up his recovery by canceling his side B with uh, barrels, but bouncing fish. Don't, doesn't care, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> doesn't discriminate, doesn't care. <laughs> Eats you up regardless. Uh, Zex going ham on him with these platforms, extending those strings. Okay, good grab. Gets him off stage. JTL so he almost got clipped. He could have gotten clipped with the Nair right there. I think if uh, Zex looks looks for those opportunities a little more, he might be able to clip the, the barrel recovery. And this might be it, folks. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's probably going to do it. Yeah, he might. No. No. Because yeah. the, the thing about, like, up B with Diddy is that when you get hit, like, and you try to barrel again, like, the character doesn't stall when you initially do it. So, like, he'll just kind of sink way faster than normal. And so, unfortunately, it really kind of messed up the recovery there. Yeah, so congratulations to Zex there for taking uh, the set 2-0. Two, two oh. Two oh. Yeah, 2 oh. yeah. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, this will be the end of the road for JTELS, if I'm not mistaken. If I am, please yell at me. <laughs> uh, otherwise. Yeah, a little bit of post-game coaching going on. But you know what? Hey, I mean, it was a valiant effort from JTELS, and uh, he had a lot of really – he was doing a lot of good stuff there. I just uh, I really liked the how, what his game plan was going into game two. He was kind of staying center stage and, and putting up a wall of backers, like back airing out of shield a lot and just yeah no and, and it got having, him a stock. having the banana too. Like he was he was between you know the, the three platforms under the top platform and between the two bottom platforms, um, keeping his zone. But nonetheless, we're gonna go on a break and coming afterwards is going to be top 48 is that still on the on this stream or, or okay so we're going to have matches for top 48 on both of the streams choose the one you want to tune into uh we've tune had into a, both if you can. a great time commentating for you guys please yeah. uh let us know if you liked us follow us on twitter give us some feedback here are our tags i've been nursemaid kiseki all right peace out guys yeah, peace out guys enjoy
What's going on, everybody? I am E.M.'s Rita Ruta Fuda. I almost said Rita Fida. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I'm Ruta Fuda. And my man. And I am E.M. Sedgehog. And we are here to cast part of Top 48 here yeah, at the Fad Game Stream. And boy, do we have a first game for you. We have Rich Brown versus M.K. Leo for the first game. Holy kamoli. Oh, my goodness. That That's is... Insane. <laughs> yeah, that, that just shows us that. I mean, I think these guys are both the winners. So it's, it's mm -hmm. not like it's not like they're on the side stream because they're losers. This is just this is how the cookies crumble, man. So this is our first game. Two phenomenal, phenomenal players. MK Leo, of course, reigning from Mexico, while Rich Brown coming from obviously SoCal. He's a LA FAD area. Some really hype things are happening. Of course, on the mainstream, uh, if you guys want to watch a match right now, now, now there is 6WX versus, oh, I'm sorry, it's uh, Mr. E versus Fatality. Mm -hmm. So, great games everywhere, man. I don't, know, I don't know how you guys as viewers can watch all these games at once because there's just so many happening all over the place. Yeah, it's absolutely insane the amount of talent we have here. Imagine Rich Brown and MK Leo are at it in the first round of Top 48. That's, first round. That is insane to think about, especially because Rich Brown, an up-and-comer, obviously, just oh, like yeah. has been making strides, beating Abadongo in the bit ditto, stuff yeah, like that. Top three at a lot of majors. Like he, The only reason you don't see so much of him is because he doesn't go to every single tournament. But whenever mm -hmm. he does go, he never disappoints. Yeah. Definitely a phenomenal player here in SoCal and a huge national and international threat. Mm -hmm. And, of course, MK Leo, the man who took zero saga. So definitely yes. <laughs> a phenomenal player. You can see him. Yeah. There they are, mm -hmm. choosing the stage. And that's the, the expected matchup. Mm -hmm. 